Hello and welcome to another one of our video diaries. It's the 31st of July. It's extremely hot and we're doing something a bit different today. We're heading north with Mr. Chris, who's a friend of ours. Mr. Chris is from the States, but of Albanian heritage, and he's managed to acquire some of his own family land in the region of Puka, which is not somewhere I've been in a long time because it doesn't really work for us on our tours. So I'd be interested to see what's going on in Puka, what Mr. Chris has got in terms of land, and whatever else may happen. Just stopped for some fuel. Uh, it just occurred to me, I should warn you, Mr. Chris is an American, which means he's extremely sweary. So I might have to bleep out a lot of, a lot of conversation. Americans, it's, it's a different place, different world. I'm in Don Bosco which is part of Tirana, obviously. And Mr. Chris lives in one of these swanky new apartments. I used to live around here, but not in anywhere nearly so smart. Return to my roots, baby. Y'all ain't think I'm coming back, but I'm coming back. Hey, dude, was that 4K too? Hey, God 4K. damn, man. How's it doing, man? God, I'm holding this like my grandfather would hold it. I have a video of my grandfather in 93 when he came to Albania, and it was like this the whole time. Like, like you literally could not understand what was happening in the whole entire video. The local street dogs, right? Booby, you know them? Is that your old posse? He was hanging out. Yeah, he's a good doggy. Chris, we are going to Puka. This is the road that goes to Puka, right? This is the road that goes to Puka. Okay. Wait, 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 sure? Do you want to pull the map out? I'm reasonably confident. Okay. I'm confident too, but I'm also you were also said that I was confident that I'm gonna be fucking this whole thing up too as well, right? Oh lovely trash. Oh beautiful, lovely. Nice. Some lol. You're from the States, but you've managed to retrieve family lands near Puka. In Puka. <laughs> okay, and then then speech. Sure, say, sure, yeah, 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 so expand on oh, it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Alright, so look. I came to Albania in 2016. I actually won a scholarship to study the Albanian language. Of course, I'm studying the communist version, which was based on the southern dialect. And I came here speaking like northern country bumpkin. And uh, during the first two months, I had a chance to go up and visit my grandfather's lands. And I took this very road, actually. This was the first time I came here uh, up to Puka. I used this road that we're on right now. I mean, look, the fucking view is amazing. Dude. It's literally insane. Like. This is, this is what I love about Albania. Is, and, and I also saw on my grandfather's uh, VHS tape that he had, he had a camera that was so old he actually stuck a VHS tape inside the camera itself. And I believe it was on this road that he came up in um, 1993 to go visit his lands after the communist uh, state fell. But for me, 2016, I came back to Albania. Mind you, I'm three generations uh, uh, away from this land and uh, when I was doing my course in 2016 I had the chance to come up with a couple of people and I saw my grandfather's lands and everything just made perfect sense for me it was like everything came together literally at this one point in time and space and I had like full purpose it was the most beautiful freaking land I have ever seen and of course I'm speaking biasly because it's, it was my own history and it was my um, it was you know, there's a lot of emotion to it. It's not just, uh, anyway, besides the point, this is really freaking gorgeous. And it's virgin besides the lol that they throw around on the streets here. What's the mountain range called? I don't know. Sure. <laughs> I mean, uh, I am from Puka. I know all my mountains. That is uh, Va Vagmal. It's Vagmal. Vagma. It's the Puka. It's the place of the of the world famous puke uh, beer. You must to visit. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we've just seen a big eagle, and then uh, Chris has said something very controversial. Listen, don't, 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 um, don't kill the messenger, okay? <laughs> but I heard that it's actually 
not the land of eagles because Albania is normally termed the land of eagles based on the word in Albanian for Albania, which is Shibnia. And the word for eagle in Albanian is Shib, Shibet. Yeah, Shibet. Yeah. And they say that because Shibet is related to Shibnia, that it means land of eagles. And I study word etymology, historical linguistics, and Indo-European uh, comparative linguistics. And I can tell you for sure, 99% sure, that it's totally not true. It actually comes from uh, a Latin word, escipio. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's E-X-C-I-P-I-O, um, which means to understand. And it's old origin from Latin, because a lot of, I think, 30 or 35% of Albanians uh, of the Albanian vocabulary comes from Latin. So people actually say the word, they used to say a, a, an expression back in the day, is like, uh, nuke shiplova. means I don't understand. Um, there was also another uh, folk, etym there was another etymology for that too, which is me shiptoi, and shiptoi means to pronounce. So when you're saying shiptar, it's the suffix tar is a person that, that pronounces in, in quotes the same language that they're speaking. So they're a person who speaks the same language, but basically it means to understand. So that's where the word ship, shiptar comes from and shipnia. Okay, that uh, makes sense. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> coming into the center of Puka now. As you can see, it's a thriving metropolis. We're in Puka. It's kind of changed since I was last year. They pedestrianized the main square. This is the tourism hotel, which I stayed in oh, too many years ago. And there's the home of Puka Beer. And Booby has made some Booby friends. He's a little bit concerned because they're much bigger than him. Chris, what, what, what's going on with Booby? Booby is scaring every single person in this place. Like, these two girls were here, like, usually in America or in a Western country. Look, see, look, look, already. It hasn't even come next to him, and they think it's going to go and eat him. The <laughs> best media shipped out of it is the, uh... Okay, I don't know what the word is, man. I can't think of it, but... It's a gift, at the bottom it says a gift from the Sokoli family, from the town of Arsmeniska. And Arsmeniska is actually pretty close to Bujoni, my grandfather's town. That's a really, really historical, well, it's not historical, but there's a lot of history in that town. I should, we should be actually going up there sometime too, because there's some old Dahuta players that play, um, like these old songs that are like passed down generation to generation. The other, like the last one is just like, he's just coughing out dust now. So, we gotta catch him before he goes. It's like North Korea and Northern Albania. <laughs> okay, we have arrived. This, right. is, this is, it's called Hani Perparim Lachit. And Hani is this place right here. And of course, this is Perparimi right here of the Lachit clan. <laughs> well, this is the place. Looks very, very charming. So, Peppermint is extremely booby friendly. Mm -hmm. Wow, the garden's huge. The music is by Vajasella, just so you know. Wow. Oh, he's basically like my father, but the Puka version of my father. <laughs> Even though my father is Pukyan. Look, you see the way he walks through? He's got the same, like, everything. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny. I feel like I'm at home, basically. Okay, so this is Peppermint's Defender. Very, very nice one. This is in 1996, right here. Yeah? 96. So, yeah, and that's uh, 1970 right there. Okay. Land Rover. Right, now, now for the big reveal. We have a Sierra's Land Rover, beautiful one. Original, so. Oh, even, we're looking at 
the number one <laughs> love cage. Kafazi <laughs> Idashrutsi. It's, it's not a love shack, it's a love cage. So if you're going in there, you're going in for business. <laughs> okay. okay, we decided to take one of the rooms in the house. A little bit fresher, nicer bathroom. Okay, it's time for a beer of puka. And we've made two friends, so your name is? Besim. Besim? Marlon. And Marco. From Tropoia. <laughs> Besim, you can trust him. <laughs> Who are also, I don't, know, I don't know what's going on here, but everybody's booby friendly. It's but, really booby friendly right but here. Besim has these extraordinary cigarettes, which my mother would love. So, black and gold. Yeah, and cigarette classic. <laughs> Yeah. I've, ne I've never seen these before. I'm mean, so yeah, they're Soprani. Yeah, yeah. Soprani. Yeah, yeah. Good. yeah. My mother gets uh, the cocktail one. Yeah. It's like pink and yellow yes. and blue. Yeah. Really? yeah. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Cheers.